is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today guys i am freaking hyped as hell i'm super excited i can do backflips and land on my neck because i don't think i can actually do a backflip i mean i'm an athlete i can do some things now i can do some things i can show some stuff off but i don't think i can do a standing backflip so i'd probably land on my neck and snap it in half at least the first time. But anyways, guys, I'm super excited today because we have this playset. I and I now am an owner of the most rare, most epic, most incredible WWE action figure playset that's ever come out. Like, you can compare it to all the others. You know, you have your backstage mayhems and your backstage brawls and your farts in a hole, your sands in the bag, your eating your cherries and all this stuff. But you will never find a better playset than the one I'm about to showcase here today, guys. And we also have this beautiful... Beautiful Fiend custom that we'll also get into. I just thought he looked so badassery here. But what playset I'm talking about, guys? Which playset am I talking about? I'm talking about the Elimination Chamber playset. And I got a new tripod because you guys know mine snapped the other day. And so I'm trying to still learn this one. It's kind of it's kind of awkward. It's stiff. It's very nice and sturdy. Like, it's not going anywhere. If a tornado came through right now, we would all blow the hell away. All this would blow the hell away. Tripod would still be standing here on the carpet in the room. I, I promise you that. Like, it's sturdy as hell, but it's... it's it's uh, it's kind of it's kind of too stiff if you get what I'm saying. But anyways, guys, I um I, I think you guys remember back in January when the Elimination Chamber pay per view took place. Um, we had this Jack's Elimination Chamber playset. You know, we did a review of it. We built it up around the ring. We did an action figure match. They got freaking uh, demonetized and blocked in several countries. I still have the video on YouTube, but I'm unable to show anybody. The only way I could show anybody was if you were to um, I think I'd have to personally send you the link. Or you would have to be at my house and watch it with me on the computer. So I think that's the only ways I can watch it. But that's for another day. That's another time. I, I'm still salty about that ish because it was a very epic match. I had a ton of fun filming that. But anyways, we have the Elimination Chamber playset. We did the action figure match. We did a setup. We did, uh, I think we did it for our predictions for the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. And uh, and how I obtained this is I back then in January, I rented this from my good buddy Chase from Burnout Inc. Absolutely amazing content creator. He has a YouTube channel. He has a Instagram, and I'm going to put all his info in the description, also on the screen for you guys to go follow him. Uh, he's one of the big inspirations for me starting my channel. I used to watch him all the time. He's very, very creative. Uh, he goes the extra mile like we do here on our channel, and uh, he, he's just an absolute beast. So definitely go give him a follow. Subscribe to his channel. He has a lot of great content still on his channel that you need to go check out after this video. But back then, I rented the Elimination Chamber from him, and I had initially rented it for the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, you know, to do all the different things, the, the matches, the, the predictions, and things of that nature. But then after that was over, I told him that, you know, I do have, I don't want to ship it back because it's it's very heavy. There's a lot of parts and it'd be very expensive to, you know, to ship it back and everything like that. I don't know what's up with the brightness. That looks way better. You see that? I shifted him to the left and it brought the exposure down. But anyways, this thing's very heavy. There's a lot of parts. It's very expensive to ship. And so, so I initially rented the Elimination Chamber for the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view to do all those videos like I was talking about, and when I was done doing that, you know, we talked about how much the shipping would be, and I didn't want to ship it back and then, uh, you know, have to get it back in time. Like, I didn't want to rent it, ship it back for expensive money, and then have to uh, do the same thing for the Hell's Gate pay-per-view that we have coming up, because I'm going to use this for the Hell's Gate pay-per-view, and he said, well, Brad, why don't you just purchase it? And I was like, what are you talking about? He actually sold me the Elimination Chamber, guys, so huge shout-out to Chase, guys. Thank you so much much chase you're an absolute baller you're a beast you're you're the the, the goat for selling me this Elimination Chamber. You guys remember my Christmas Wants video, I put this playset in the video and I talked about how bad I wanted it and that I'd never owned it. And now, thanks to Chase and thanks to just just an amazing guy that he is, we now have it in our possession and we get to use it for Hell's Gate and uh, we are going to own it moving forward after an amazing deal that he cut me and I appreciate him so very much. So, we're going to get a ton of use out of this moving forward on the channel. You know, when the Elimination Chamber comes around, we have Hell's Gate, we have other things that I have planned. So, I I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Chase for making that possible and now that I own the greatest WWE figure playset ever, I also have a full review of it fully built. I'm not going to fully build it in this video. You know what? Maybe I can just plug in some footage and show that thing off while, you know, I sat here and talked about this whole story and everything like that. But anyways, it has the full chambers and everything. One thing I am going to do 
for Hell's Gate, guys, is I'm going to build two little things here. You guys can see uh, the, the chamber walls are not very tall, so I thought about going in and adding some mesh fencing uh, to, the, to the top tier up here. That way I can uh, do that. So that way I can have, you know, people being able to get on top of the chamber, do flips off of it, do all that good jazz. But I, one thing I will say is this part right here, the, the base for this thing is very massive, and I know a lot of people use this for their pick fed stages. I know Harrison's done it in the past. I know Steinsenberg Customs has done it. I know, uh, I think Jesus has done it. And so I would use it for Hell's Gate, you know, this platform as a stage piece, but then I couldn't use the Elimination Chamber for the actual match itself. So that's just something to think about. You know, I, that, that's the part that really sucks. So that's probably something we won't do. I am, I, I know a lot of people are asking, you know, where's the Hell's Gate stage, all this good stuff, but I am, uh, I'm currently working on that. We're going to make it epic. You guys know that we do it for Money in the Bank. We did it for Blackout. We did it for Sold Out. We did it for the Royal Rumble. We always do a custom stage and we're going to do the same thing for Hell's Gate. It's going to be epic sauce. I'm super excited for that. We're going to build up uh, a nice stage and it's going to be nice and it's going to be epic because we're on the road to My Damn Nation. It's the last pay-per-view until My Damn Nation, which is our WrestleMania and you guys know that stage is going to be immaculate. I mean, my God. But uh, anyways, guys, here is the Fiend Custom. If you guys watched the WWE action figure setup yesterday, we did. Uh, we talked about this figure and everything that we did here and I don't know why the hell the exposure is trying to be a piece of shit. But anyways, look at this Bray Wyatt Fiend Custom. This head scan was uh, casted by Mad Reaper, but it was officially done by BEW. Uh, he, he, had, he did the original sculpt, and then I got a fully white casted version, and I did custom paint it up, and then I took a rhino torso, put it on a Bray Wyatt crotch, and then added some sting legs, and again, the legs are not completely finished. They are just a work in progress. I just wanted to get, I, I wanted a different look. You know, everybody's doing like these different things and putting the stripes on it, but I don't think I'm going to add the stripes. I kind of like the way this looks, but the hands were made by my boy Rodney. I, I got him to make me some customs, some custom hands there, and then I added all the decals. He has all of his tattoos, but I do have the Sting jacket added to give him that look, and he does have Sting boots and everything, but I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. I don't know why the hell the exposure is doing this, but maybe that's a little bit better for you guys. Uh, one thing I will say about the head cast is that it's not the same width as the one that BW originally sculpted. I know that casts don't always come out perfectly, and that is the case with this Bray Wyatt. It's, a, it's an amazing cast. I love it. Uh, once it's painted up, it looks looks fantastic as well, but it's definitely more narrow than the original, so it doesn't look as good as the original that BEW did, which I don't think that uh, it is even possible to replicate, you know, the, the even if you cast it, you carbon copy it, whatever, the original sculpt is always going to be a lot better, so that is one thing I will say, but I am super happy with the way that the Fiend turned out. Again, I still have to fix up some things because it's not quite working well, and I'm going to have to redo some things, but we will get that figured out. Uh, in the in the meantime, we're just going to chill with what we got. I'm excited for it, man. It looks freaking epic, but another thing I wanted to talk there's something else that I wanted to say. What the hell was it? There goes the exposure again. Oh yeah, MDT Live 14 is coming very soon, guys. We're working on that. That is a work in progress. After that is done, we have an episode of Vindication, one more episode of MDT Live, and then it will be Hell's Gate time, and we have two Elimination Chambers already booked for that. We have some other matches. We have an MDT Tag Team Championship match. We have a World Tag Team Championship Open Challenge, most likely from the Uso we have a match that is in the works between Johnny Gargano and Cody Rhodes. And the Iron Man Championship is a stipulation belt, so there will have to be a stipulation in that matchup. That is something to, to write down. Uh, Kevin Owens most likely going to defend the Extreme Championship. The card for Hell's Gate is going to be stacked. And including two chamber matches, guys, you definitely don't want to miss that. That That is going to be one epic effing show. And I know that, you know, every show we try to get better and better. And I plan on doing that same thing with the Hell's Gate pay-per-view. And it is our last stop before My Damn Nation and My Damn Nation will be the mania and it will be freaking over the top everything there will not be any stone left unturned for that show and it will be uh, all uh, very grand it will be just like mania with grand uh, grand everything so i'm super hyped for hell's gate and i don't think it would be possible for hell's gate if we didn't have this epic elimination chamber from chase from burnout inc and again guys this this playset literally goes for like 400 500 600 dollars on ebay if if you can even find it that's the thing is you don't find this playset you don't find this playset on eBay. You don't find this playset anywhere. Like, you cannot find this thing. If you find this thing for any less than 300 even if you find it for 300 you probably should buy it because you will not find this anywhere. I'm telling you, anybody who knows, who owns it, knows how rare it is, and it is it is definitely the best playset. It's epic. It's amazing. You can do incredible things with it, and I am now an owner of it, and I'm super happy about it, and I just want to give a huge shout-out to Chase again for that because without him, it wouldn't be possible. The freaking Fane looking fantastic here. Uh, the Fane will not be featured in the Elimination Chamber, so 
that is something that is disappointing because, you know, the Fiend's not in the pick fed or anything, but, uh, you know, it is still cool to see him here. Bray Wyatt is in, is in vindication, and who knows if he'll qualify for the Elimination Chamber or not. We will have to see. I think there's three spots left, correct? Yeah, three spots left. There's Shinsuke, AJ Styles, and Kenny Omega right now, but who will fill out those last three spots? We will find out on the go-home show for Hell's Gate after this episode of MDT Live, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Um, just I just wanted to, you know, plug this in and show you guys the Elimination Chamber if you guys hadn't seen it yet. Talk about the Bray Wyatt Custom that we got going on right here and uh, everything like that. I think we have a surgery coming tomorrow. I could be wrong about that. Again, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% positive. Uh, if you have noticed, my right hand has been in the video here and I didn't want, I don't want to put my left hand in here because it's actually really hard to get my left hand on camera because of this light that's right here so like I have to go around here and it's like freaking higgly diggly little. sorry you had to see that but that is going to do it for today's video guys thank you so very much for watching comment down below what you think of the elimination chamber comment down below what you think of Hell's Gate comment down below what you think of The Fiend and also when uh, it is time for Hell's Gate I want everybody to make predictions videos and uh, and review videos of the pay-per-view that really I really appreciate those and, and I will watch and comment on every single one of them once the full card is released don't make them until the full card is released because then it won't make sense we won't want to make sure all the all the matches are on there but if you want to make a match cards prediction go ahead you can do that if you'd like but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you